So just make sure it's framed right. It's true, everyone wants to run away and join the circus. As a kid, I always wanted to run away and join the circus, uh, but growing up in a small town in Utah, there wasn't a whole lot of options for that. My eye was drawn to this neon sign that said Kung Fu and Circus Arts, and I just couldn't resist. That irresistible sign can still be found in the window of the Sophia Isadora Academy of Circus Arts at Park and El Cajon Boulevard. Currently, Danielle Berg and the Circus Collective of San Diego are rehearsing their new show, Circtacular Circtacular. The show will be staged at the Lyceum Theater. We're excited too to be able to actually reach one of our goals as, of the collective, which is to bridge the gap between circus and theater. And the Lyceum is that perfect combination because it's set up in a half round, so it's like half, you know, like the big top in the round and half theater. So we are so excited about this space. It's really perfect. Daniel Nava crafted the script that weaves together the specialty of each performer with dialogue that pushes the story forward. In this case, a story about a group of bohemian artists trying to put on a show. I think we would like to think of it as its own genre. There's a lot of what goes on in this show compared to what you would get in a normal theater or what you would get in traditional circus that's, that's its own kind of monster, <laughs> its own like little creative thing. So it is something that's not entirely theater and it's something that's not entirely traditional circus where it has much more ambiguous narrative. For this show we kind of came up with our characters first and then just choreographed the interaction between them almost in a more theatrical way than uh, generally you do in a circus performance like this. So we came up with the story and we made the story work and then we fit the tricks in where it was appropriate. It's a more contemporary style of circus that leaves out the elephants and clowns in order to focus on the amazing things the human body can do, what Berg calls the basics of circus. Human beings doing amazing things with their bodies and cheating death, and I think that's something that people always love to see um, because it, it gives us belief in our own ability to also transcend our own limitations. There is something about circus where we're becoming superhuman particularly when it comes to these acts where we're flying, whether it be on an apparatus or just being tossed in the air, where we're capturing some kind of fantastical desire. We've all had flying dreams, right? And so I think when I perform, when I do an act, part of it is wish fulfillment, right? I'm that person who is watching that act isn't just watching what I'm doing. They're with it. They're with me. They're imagining what would it feel like if I were doing that. Some of the stuff they look like they do is almost superhuman. You know, they're holding themselves in places that most people couldn't, and it's like a special effect, like some of the stuff that you'll see in our show. And see up close, with performers seeming ready to land in your lap. When I go to circus shows too, I feel the same way. I'm kind of like, <laughs> but that's the best part about it, is to be able to present something that can make someone have an emotion inside like that. To express it means you're doing something right. Hannah Denham is a contortionist and hand balancer. A hand balancer is, specializes in handstands. So I do all kinds of balancing on my hands and sometimes on pedestals. For this show, I'm going to be doing a partner trapeze act. We're going to be basically hanging in the, on the trapeze and I'm going to be throwing her around and doing some really cool tricks and stuff like that. But Travis T says the biggest challenge isn't mastering the tricks, but rather staying in character. It's easy to lose your character while you're, while you're hanging upside down, you know, and putting your life at risk. So I think that's probably the biggest challenge. But when it all comes together on stage this Sunday, the goal is to make it all look seamless and effortless, like it's something even you and I could do. Part of our purpose as the Circus Collective of San Diego is to make circus a little bit more um, accessible to people. Um, so hopefully we're able to do that. I'm Beth Accomando for KPBS News.